Hi, thanks for joining. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create validation within your SharePoint document libraries. So pretty much validation is a good way to ensure that proper information is being put into uh, libraries and the information is full and it's accurate and pretty much correct. Um, so in 2007, pretty much you can upload anything and if you had any metadata that was required and whatnot, if those fields weren't required, um, pretty much you could still upload the document and that field or that information could just be left empty. But now with SharePoint 2 2010, there's a field validation option now within the document library and what you can do is you can ensure that these these um, fields or the validation is is met before the actual document gets uploaded to SharePoint. So it's a good way to manage and make sure that proper full information is put into your library and it's a good form of governance as well. So we'll just start it off real quick. So I'm just going to go into the document library and I have a, I have a validation setting already currently set but I'll just show you where I put it and whatnot. So just go to libraries and then you go to library settings and then under general settings there's a new section called validation settings so if I click on that pretty much here you put in your formulas and you can put in a message that must be specified with that for that particular formula to be met or if it's not met it'll display this message to the user and pretty much that's it so what this formula is doing it's checking the title field and making sure that it's not set to blank so if it's set to blank, it'll just prompt up a little, it'll just show a little in red, in red writing, a little message that says title must not be blank. And I'll just put an exclamation there. And I can just save this formula. So now, if I go back into my library, if I try to create a new content type or a new library, a new document or whatnot, um, so in this case, I'm actually going to show something new as well. I'm going to show you a content type that I created derived from the document content type, but I'm actually using document properties that I created within this existing content type. So sorry if I'm confusing you guys, but real quick I just wanted to show this. So I created a content type and I created um, columns for this particular content type. And then what I did was I I um, inserted those columns into the into a document or Word document, and made those columns um, pretty much document properties within the document, within the actual document. Um, sorry, I know it's a little complex, but it's a little cool feature that I I did. So if anyone's interested in it and wants a little bit more information, just please feel free to message me. So moving on, moving forward, I'm just going to create a new time request form. This is a custom content type which is derived from the document content type and it's just a regular word document using um, doc, um, properties or metadata properties within SharePoint. So if I click open, I'm just going to put in my credentials here. Okay, so pretty much it's going to be opening up my word document and within that Word document, I've inserted document properties within this Word document that pulls from SharePoint. And pretty much how I did that is I just, just bear with me, I'm just letting this the site still needs to load as it's still saying it's not responding. Okay. So pretty much what I did was I just went to insert and then there's an option in SharePoint 2000, 2007 and 2010 um, and it's called Quick Parts and Quick Parts will pull all the properties that you currently have for the, your, your um, content type within SharePoint into your Word document and then from there you can just specify them and insert them as I did right here into your document. So pretty much these are quick parts or document properties mapped to metadata within SharePoint. So with that said, all I need to do is now instead of filling out this form manually, I just need to edit the properties essentially. 
So I'm just going to give it a title. And as you can see, as I'm filling out the document properties, it's actually filling out my form for me because I'm using properties from the metadata within SharePoint. And again, all rules apply with respect to the metadata, so it'll show me items that are required. So if I don't fill out those items, then pretty much the document will not save back. So this title, if you recall, let's just go back to my document library here. If you recall, I created a validation for the title field. So if title is blank, it'll say must not be blank. So even though this is not a required field, if I don't enter anything, if I don't enter something into this field, I'll get an error message not allowing me to save back to SharePoint. So the interest, let's just give that a shot. Let's try to leave it blank and see what happens. So right now I'm going to save. Okay, I'm just going to give it a file name. And I'm going to save back. So again, what I've done is I've filled out all my required fields, but I did not pass the validation. So it shouldn't upload. So this is the error message that we're getting. So upload failed. File contains document properties that have failed custom validation. So all we need to do is we will update this field because, again, the custom validation told it to not upload anything or do not add anything to the library that does not have the title field. Um, filled out. So if I just try to save again, it'll try to it'll ask me to try to save again, save a copy. And now pretty much my item is now saved back into SharePoint. Right. Once I click save, of course. Okay, so it looks like it took. And now, if I exit out of this, and I go back to my document library, I should now see my new item that I just created within uh, my Word document. Okay, so again, if I leave this, if I actually remove this, and I leave it blank, and I try to save it, again, I did not pass the validation that is specified for this library, and here is the red message telling me that title must not be blank. So I just put something in here and title is not blank and as you can see it's okay title now and it's allowed me to save back. So I hope you found this interesting. I really hope that a lot of people start using this feature. I think it's one of the greatest features that can be provided within SharePoint. Um, because it's great for governance, it's great for ensuring that proper information is specified within your libraries to ensure metadata is proper, consistent, and you can provide metrics and KPIs and you can do the whole gambit if you have proper information that's updated on all items within SharePoint. So I hope you found it interesting. Thanks.